Yeah, so I've been trying to like think of like a funny joke to say or like some sort of like funny thing to say for this intro. I was trying to think of a joke about like a new year or like, you know, something, but I, you know, I just can't think of one. Well, it's a new year and I still suck at Minecraft. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video here on the Strawberry Jam channel today. Hopefully you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. Uh, I wasn't actually planning on making a second video today or the next day, because it's kind of like the next day and the next, it's kind of the next year. But yeah, I just didn't have enough time to make a second video for today. I thought I had one planned out, but it just wasn't like edited and ready to go. And I didn't really want to rush anything, so I was just like, you know what, we'll just... What the heck just happened? That was some Matrix stuff right there, bro. What? What on earth? What on... <laughs> Look at this guy! Look at this guy! He's in Vince... Oh. He... He died. How did he die? But yeah, I figured before the year ended, or it's kind of already over, but I just, I'll just squeeze in right here since it's, it's just the start of the year and I can squeeze in just a little. I sort of just wanted to make a little video about 2015 and my thoughts about it and just uh, a big thank you to you guys because 2015 was easily, easily, easily one of the best years of my entire life. 2014 was, you know, the, the holder of the best year of my life, but um, 2015 sort of took it over just because 2015 was such like an amazing year. I mean, in 2014, I got to like, you know, move out with one of my friends and, you know, just, just be more of an adult and start to live life a lot more. So I'm telling you guys, living, oh my God. I'm telling you guys, once you go from that stage of being a kid to an adult, life changes a lot. And there's just so much for more for you to see and for more to you to do and there's just so much freedom. Uh, and it's insane. And this year, that freedom went to a whole new level, bro. Like I got to travel the world. I got to see my like internet friends that I've been friends with for such a long time for the first time. And just so much craziness happened, dude. In such like a, in just 365 days, just so much happened, bro. I know when you click on one of my videos, it's sort of just like, you know, you're watching a video for the entertainment, but like literally like this is my like life. Creating YouTube videos and posting content online and having you guys enjoy it is what I do for a living. And it's, it's insane. Like, I can't thank you guys enough for enjoying my content and everything because, like, you literally make my life am amazing. Just so amazing. And all the crazy stuff that happened in 2015, like, you would have told, you could have told me, at, like, at the start of the year that this would have happened. And I would have been like, all right, bro, that's a little bit far fetched. Like, get out of here. Me and my friends got a VIP tour of Disney. Like, no, that doesn't happen to, like, anyone we went to disneyland and we got to walk through the exits of the rides and 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 ride the rides and like we just got to do so much of disneyland that like no no normal human being would ever be able to do in their lifetime we did it in one day bro it was like i, I can't just exp i can't explain it dude like it was just insane like it was like a, a dream come true for any child dude and like it just blew my mind just trolling down this like little exit line at disney while all these like angry parents and stuff are waiting in a long ass line just like why do they get to go through the exits and and I'm just like, lol. I got to meet so many new people. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Oh, my freaking pizza's here. But this guy's going to... No, dude. Oh, well, I'm probably going to die. Okay. <laughs> Thought I could record this video before freaking my pizza got here. But obviously I was wrong. Yeah, dude. It's 1st of January and I'm eating pizza. I should be, you know, trying to eat healthy and stuff. But, bro, dude, I'm hungry and I, it, I've been doing stuff all day. I okay? haven't eaten all day. Hey, what was I saying? Just like the people I got to meet, I got to meet like people like Sky Does Minecraft. I got to meet the king of YouTube. I got to meet PewDiePie. Any person you would ever think of, like within the gaming or Minecraft community, like I, I met them and like I. Just, Got killed by a Steve. I met them and it wasn't just like a little like fan like, hey, what's up? It was like a, it was like an actual like socializing like event moment thing. Like it, like we got to like, it wasn't just like a quick hello and then goodbye. Like we actually talked and like, I don't know, it just blows my mind. Without you guys, I would literally be nobody. And I just, I really can't thank you guys enough. Ready? This guy won't expect this. Fuck! And the biggest thing about 2015 was just meeting so many of you like i had met like i don't know maybe a few like aussie fans here and there like we had, had done a couple meetups before but like going to pax east in like march dude and, and going to boston and having five thousand people like outside our meetup was like that's just insane dude and then we had like a small trip to la like a couple months later and there was still like hundreds of people who showed up to our meetup we went to london for minecon and the amount of like awesome like british people i got to meet was just amazing but seriously like london was easily like my favorite place 
place that I traveled to l last year. Sorry, America, I love you. You were fun to travel to and stuff. Oh my God, the London trip was so short, but like within that short amount of time, it was just amazing. Just the amount of people we got to meet and just like the fans and just like being in England was just, oh, it's so awesome. We're definitely coming back to London for some sort of reason next year. Of, I mean, this year, 2016. And I can't wait to meet more of you guys. And also, I can't forget Seattle. Seattle was absolutely amazing. I feel like the fans we met in Seattle were just, like, the, the most hilarious. You guys know how to make me laugh. It's just, it's it's amazing just meeting all of you and just everything, bro. Like, I can't, like, I, like I'm speechless. Like, I'm actually speechless. I can't get words out of my mouth just because I'm, just because you guys are amazing and you've literally made my... 2015 the best year of my life that's sort of just stuff that i wanted to briefly talk about it's kind of uh it's kind of hard to sum up uh, 365 days into such a short amount of time one thing that i heavily pushed in 2015 was uh, I really want to improve my video quality. No, I don't mean like the resolution of the video, like the frames per second. Like I meant like the actual like content itself. I want to drastically improve that. In 2014, I would sort of just like pump out videos and towards the end of 2014, you guys might've noticed or yeah, definitely towards the end of 2014, you guys would have noticed that I sort of started out by pumping out just loads of videos, three videos a day, like just so much content, especially in 2013 as well. I was just putting out so much content, so much content, so much content. And I was doing way, way, way too much quantity and just completely like disregarding the video quality and by quality i mean like how it's edited like how funny it is like if there's any dry spots in it like edit those out and like just all sorts of stuff and i would sort of just make videos and not really watch them back like i wasn't really proud of the content i created i didn't think the content i created was like funny for me to watch but i knew you guys enjoy and my goal for this year was just to create content that i can be like really proud of i wanted to upload content that where every video i upload i can be like yo look at this like i can show anyone this like and be proud of it and not be like cringing at the fact that someone's looking at my youtube channel like oh no don't watch this video and i feel like i've achieved that like so many videos i put up this year uh, have gotten like just insane amounts of like like response and like hit like oh my god what the heck is going okay this guy's this oh i'm sorry dude i'm why would you do that so many videos this year have just had an amazing response and like and just like, i'm so glad you guys have just accepted like the complete like change in video style like i went from being like a sort of like 10 minutes of raw footage uploaded to like uh, a few minutes of just like funny moments and stuff and these are the videos i really really enjoy making and uh, i'm glad you guys like them as well and I'm also just so glad that I can, and I'm also so glad that I can just create content that I love to watch and you guys love to watch. And it's, yeah, I, 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 I love it. I don't know, dude, I'm freaking stuttering like mad right now. I don't know. I don't know how to get all these words out. Just There's just a lot of thoughts going on in my head. And I don't really know how to explain it in the, in the mouth. But one thing I definitely want to emphasize next year is like, I definitely want to get on a schedule. I want to, even though like I clearly failed that this year. And I want to upload definitely more videos, but I also want to keep the quality up because I, I love making these videos. I love how like, how, you know, somewhat, I wouldn't necessarily say they're highly produced. But I like putting a lot of effort into my videos and trying to make the best content I can. But I also want to get more out for you guys because some days I feel like five minutes or 10 minutes of video just isn't enough strawberry jam, you know? Like I want you guys to, to have like a decent amount of strawberry jam every day. But not too much strawberry jam, you know what I mean? So there'll probably be like upwards of two videos some days. And then maybe if you guys are lucky, there'll be a third video. But um, yeah, they're sort of my uh that's sort of my uh my goalsies. My little goalsies of uh of the year. And at the start of every year, I always make a, a video where I will discuss like what's happening in the year and stuff. I know I've done it for two years, so I'll probably do it this year as well. But yeah, this is just gonna be my final just thank you guys for 2015. Seriously, thank you guys so much. It's uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it, do it without you. And this fight will determine what's going to happen in 2016. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, that's another thing that's changed in 2015. My PvP skills have definitely gotten a lot better. Also, you guys are asking about the Skywars montage that I was working on. That will be out very soon. I had some issues with it, but definitely January it will be out. Um, so look out for it. Anyway, yeah, I just want to give you guys a final thank you for 2015. I wanted to end it off with a, uh, with a, like a sort of like a somewhat official video. I would put together some of my favorite moments, but seriously, just click back on my channel and click on any video that I've uploaded throughout the year. And they're just some, they're just my favorite moments. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> that's tomorrow. <laughs> and as far as I know, you've been watching, I've been Story Jam. This has been the end of 2015. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I'll definitely see you all again next time hopefully bye bye